Friends, in this lecture, we learned how to calculate a standard deviation. What is standard deviation and how we can use it? On the screen, you can see a simple diagram that explains standard deviation. The six boys are there with the different heights, and the blue color line shows the mean or average height. So, standard deviation on both the plus side and the minus side is shown by the red lines. Standard deviation actually shows us how the data is spread out from the mean. And it is a very standard way for us to tell us what is normal or what is extra large or what is extra small. For example, in this uh, blue line is a mean uh, height where boy number one is between the two red lines. That means it is normal height. And whatever that is above the red line, that is boy number three and boy number four, is something extra large from the standard deviation. And the boy number five, that is too short in height uh, below the red line, is too low, too small for, from the standard deviation. So this is what a standard deviation usually tells us about. And how we have to calculate the formula is uh, given here. First, we have to calculate the average of a given set of numbers. So we are having these six numbers. Let us calculate the average. That is mean is equal to A V E R A G E bracket open and we select our data set and press enter. In this way we are having our mean. Then we'll find out the difference of each and every unit from the mean that is equal to x minus x bar that is B2. Now B2 we have to have uh, absolute referencing press F4 or put two dollar signs like this. This is an absolute referencing. Now drag it down. After dragging it down, make a square of it here. This thing is equal to 0 or the cell to the power 2. This caret sign is uh, you can find on your keyboard above the 6, number 6. And then drag it down like this. Calculate the summation sigma that is alt plus plus. The sum comes out to be 10. Now standard deviation is we have to divide this sigma x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1 where n is the number of uh, observations and here we are having 6 observations. We have to write this formula like equal to standard deviation is equal to square root summation divided by n minus 1. We will write down the function here. We will write down it equal to square root sqrt bracket open and we will select our summation that is 10. And we have to divide it by bracket open n minus 1. n is here we are having 6, 6 minus 1 bracket close. And now the square root bracket close. We have two brackets and the answer comes out to be 1414. This is just we are doing it to understand what is standard deviation. This is the long method. Short method is to just use the formula. The formula is given in the next sheet here. We will write down this thing is equal to s t d e v bracket open and we select our data and press enter and we'll get the standard deviation you see this is just analogous to the old answer 1.4142 1.4142 same answer can again be obtained by the formula s t d e v dot s bracket open and select all these and enter and now the same formula is available now the difference between STDEVS and STDVP is for S stands for sample and P stands for population. What actually happens is if we are having a very large set of data, from that very large set of data, we select out some subsets. Like here, we are having six numbers as a sample. If you pull out the sample from the population, then you have to calculate the standard deviation of the sample by this formula. But if you are calculating the standard deviation of the whole population, whatever the data set is available, whole of that, then we call it a population. And the formula is uh, calculated by stdevp. stdev.p bracket open and you select all these and press enter. Another formula again for population is, is equal to stdevp bracket open. Select all the data sets and press enter. And in this way, we can calculate the standard deviation.